All right, just taking a quick look at this new power station from Marzan. This is a, a new product and a, a new company as well. And, you know, as you can tell, just kind of by looking at this thing, they were uh, heavily influenced by the EcoFlow Delta, probably the Delta II. Um, you know, it's probably the one they benchmarked for this thing. Although they, this thing does add, you know, it does add a, a few uh, features that the EcoFlow doesn't have. All right, so we do get the LFP battery, of course, and it is 1,400 watt hours, a little over 1,400 watt hours, right? So it's actually on the, you know, the bigger side of this kind of mid-size class. And we get that 1,800 watt inverter. And now for the solar, we actually get pretty decent specs on this thing, pretty decent. So they're saying 600 watts max, and this is actually up to 70 volts, I believe. Yeah, 70 volts. So, you know, basically you can hook a couple of panels up together in series, right? Um, you know, maybe if you're lucky, you might even be able to get three of them. And it does have a UPS mode, and they, they are actually claiming less than 10, 10 milliseconds on that. So pretty good stuff. And this thing does fast charge from the wall, so they don't actually give, you know, an exact wattage, but... It does the typical, you know, 0 to 80% in one hour, and then the, the remaining 20% will be a little bit slower. Now, just talking about the design here real quick, you know, again, you know, obviously it's just like the EcoFlow Delta, um, but basically, you know, they kind of reversed the, the color scheme on it, right? So we got the, the lighter color on the bottom, and then the, the top part is darker. And uh, we do get that kind of same form factor where we do have basically, you know, two ends, right? We got the, we got the front panel that has uh, the screen and some, some ports on it. And then you've actually got the back panel as well. Now they did kind of, uh, one thing they did kind of improve that I do like is they actually added the AC outlets to the front as well, right? With, with the EcoFlows. The only thing you get on, on the front of the EcoFlows is the USB, right? So I do like that because I, you know, I kind of just wish, I kind of just wish everything was on the front. It's just a little bit easier to get to, right? But as you can see here, the, you know, the 12 volt, the, the car socket is still on the back. But we do get a nice light as well, right? So that's kind of a, an addition that EcoFlow doesn't bother to put on their Delta units. Now, one thing that does kind of like really bother me about the design on this thing, and it's just kind of a, a, a sloppy thing. And it, what's, what's real interesting too is that they, they don't actually um, show it on this. This is actually a computer rendering. The way this thing's constructed, they actually have the, the, the front part and the, the side, you know, the rest of the case is actually um, two different parts and there's actually like a little silicone cover here that, that probably is covering like the screws and stuff to, to kind of keep this thing together. And it's just, um, it's not integrated well at all. So right here, you can actually see what I'm talking about. This is a, this is actually like the little silicone cover that comes up here. And look at this, it's just like, it's just like a squared off, just a standard piece, right? Like, like there's no attempt to kind of integrate this thing into the design of the unit. You know, like, why doesn't it, you know, why doesn't the silicone kind of, you know, mimic this, this uh, line that follows the top and the, the front panel, right? Just something, uh, you know, just having it kind of squared off here, just, that would just drive me nuts looking at this unit. And it just makes the, the build quality of this thing, just, it just gives a real kind of a cheaper, you know, lower end impression. You know, they definitely could have found a better solution to this. But we do get this nice color LCD screen and I really like how they have the the kind of the energy bar display. It's more of like a linear display, right? I mean, almost all of these companies, they go with like a circle or an arch or something, right? So it's just just kind of refreshing to see something a little bit different there. And then, you know, the top and the, the handle design, you know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, I think they could have integrated these handles a little bit better. I'd, you know, I'm not too crazy about how they stick up, but it is kind of a cool design. It, it almost reminds me of like a, like a wing off of a Ferrari or something, right? And the same thing with this uh, vent design as well. But at least we still do get that flat top and it does have that dish design just like EcoFlow. All right, now let's just talk about the, the real exciting feature and probably the thing you're, you're most interested in and the reason you would probably want to take a look at this product, right? is this thing actually has a, a parallel connection and it, it's kind of interesting too it's not only the the output you know if you if you hook these two of these units up together not only do you get this uh, 30 amp outlet with a 3600 watt um, out uh, output this is continuous 3600 watt continuous but what's really interesting is that you know as you know if, if you kind of looked into power stations that have this parallel function usually whenever you're using kind of the parallel output you know, they'll give you like a little little box or, or something, you know, something that you would end up using to plug stuff into. They would kind of disable the other outlets on the power station, right? <laughs> but what's really interesting about this thing is they actually allow you to use those outlets too. And on any, you know, any single unit, it actually bumps it up to 2,400 watts, right? So you can have 2,400 watts, you know, coming out of one of these plugs on, on any one of these power stations. 
you know, it, or you can have, you know, 3,600 watts coming out of the, you know, the 30 amp outlet thing that they provide, right? And it's basically just a cord. It's not, it's not so much like a box like other units. And then obviously just keep in mind, you know, you can't, you know, you, you can't stack these. This would be like, you know, 3,600 watts is the absolute max that you could do, right, at, at any given time, no matter which ports you're using. And then since you're going to be, you know, pulling from both batteries, that's almost, you know, 1,400 watt hours times two. That's almost 3,000 watt hours, right? So this is like big specs. This is like Delta Pro specs, really, if you think about it. You know, almost, you know, 3,000 watt hours, 3,600 watt uh, output. You know, that, that's that's almost Delta Pro specs. And, you know, the thing the thing that I really just don't like about the Delta Pro or any of those kind of like larger units like that, right, is just the you're, you're so limited with the mobility of those things, right, just because of the weight. And, you know, when you're talking about 100 pounds, yes, it has the wheels and handle. But still, I mean, if, if you need to lift that thing up or move it or or do anything other than just roll it on the, the ground, right? I mean, you're, you're kind of screwed, right? So this is just so nice having these parallel systems because guess what? This one's 40 pounds, right? And then obviously the other one's 40 pounds. So you can just pick those up independently, right? And then the other benefit is it's not just the weight or, or you know, moving one at a time. It's that, you know, you could have one of these units outside charging, you know, and then you could have the other unit inside using it. You can use them in two different locations at the same time, right, basically is, is kind of the thing. And you can be doing, doing two different things with them. And then if you do need that kind of big power, you know, you just hook them up together. Now, one thing to note is that you will have to actually attach the green wire that they show here. You will ha actually have to attach the ground to the ground screw. So it's not, you know, it's not something that you're going to be able to set up like just real quick. It is going to take like a couple of minutes. And here's the deal they're offering for the for the parallel kit. And they have, you know, basically all these coupons, you know, you know, being a new product and a new company as well. They're just trying to get people to jump into this thing. Right. Now, the one thing I would always say with these with these new products is, you know, wait for some of the reviews to come in. You know, I mean, obviously you're going to gamble and that maybe they're going to, you know, not have the coupon anymore or whatever or any of these other deals. I think even with this with this uh, parallel set bundle, they even throw in the uh, the little one as well. The, the, uh, what are, the 300. This is a 300 NMC little, you know, portable unit. I think they even throw that. You have to kind of look at the details here. Yeah, I mean, a super, you know, super good bundle uh, deal right now. Yeah, so hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.